Yes? What could a mortal vagabond need with Kazmaran the Eternal, messenger of the Fey Folk? Speak! My time may be of the ages, but it is still precious. I'm new to the Feylands. Until I joined the mission, I'd never even left my home village. That's why I volunteered. I wanted to see the world. I want to visit the gardens of Issa, to meet gnomes and Alfar, to live. The Order of Mitharu was a good way to leave home, but I want so much more. It sounds rather silly, doesn't it? I had a feeling it would. I need a mage name for when I become all-powerful, for when my magic is so great that no one will dare dispute me. What about Abner the Visionary, or Malik the Nefarious, Lord Zaltanus? No? And those were the good ones. Mortal races have no lasting grasp on this world, and in time the Fair Ones shall be our masters, beautiful and mighty. Legend tells of the great Fey city hidden beneath the canopies of Dalantarth. I've never met anyone who's been there, but I'm sure it's real. Yes, I'm quite sure. Not a doubt in my mind. Farewell.
clans and bargained with their kind. Throughout the town they stood in fear of the brilliant fighter near.
if there's a way to secure ultimate power without having to put myself in danger. I'll have to think about that. Father Dinwell sent you, didn't he? Old fool. His path to power was too plodding, and now he wishes to slow me down too. Well, I have new friends. Fey friends. They are named Finna and Arbos, and they have sworn to share their secrets with me, to gift me with true magic. But first, I must give them something in return. They want an ancient treasure buried in Waterhall Down. But wait, you appear to have the veil already. This is my lucky day! Come, they will want to see it. Finna and Arbos made their camp in the old Fey ruins north of the village, near my camp. Bye then. Come, their camp is not far. See you later. Arbos and Finna will be waiting. Come, their camp is not far. See you later. What, what is this? A little Egan has made a friend? Hm. I have a feeling this is going to be a problem. Legend states that the wearer of the veil will be granted strange abilities. Fey abilities. So you can imagine why my brother and I might be curious. Before the war, we plundered Rothir from within. We were so successful that the Warsworn had bounties on our heads. Not much, but enough to be proud of. Sadly, all good things must come to an end. With the arrival of so many wartime outlaws, we were forced to relocate here. It was for the best, if you ask me. A charming boy, but simple. My brother and I do prefer them witless and eager. He would have done so much more for us if not for you. Obviously, anyone who has ever glimpsed a fae would know that. Unlike little Egan here, your head holds more than fantasies. The fae lands are such fertile ground for games. The inhabitants are so oafish you can fill your pockets with hardly any effort. Are you going to give us what's rightfully ours or do we need to start a new game? My brother and I are always ready to play. Cursed, is it? Huh. It does look like you are well acquainted with misfortune. Keep the veil, then. There are other treasures to be had in the Feylands. Make certain our paths do not cross again, or my brother will add his mark to your scars. Farewell. I... I didn't know. How could I? Before I came to Gorehart, I'd never known anyone outside my immediate family. Everything was so new, so... magical. You must think me a fool. And Father Dinwell... Come, let's return to the mission. I must ask forgiveness of so many. Bye then. To the mission!
keep up. Must we return to the mission? I crave adventure, magic, power. Although all of those things are quite frightening. Perhaps it is for the best. This new world is far more dangerous than I expected, and I haven't eaten in days. Bye then. Good day. Let's get out of the forest. Must we return to the mission? I crave adventure, magic, power. Although all of those things are quite frightening. Goodbye now. Great Mitharu, Egan has returned. As for you, you have done as I asked, and we here at St. Odwigs are forever grateful. Consider this meager reward a donation to your cause. It is just one, to be sure. The Fae are stubborn fools. They treat their souls like toys, with no thought of right or wrong, chaos or order. It is only by the grace of Mitharu that Egan has been returned to us. Of course, you had a hand in that miracle as well. The authority works in many ways. I have been with the mission since its founding. These boys are like my sons. I live my life as an example of Mitharu's wishes for our kind. The first bricks were laid 50 years ago by Odwig himself, before his demise at the hands of trolls. We honor him by converting the Fey to the worship of Mitharu. Alas, we have yet to convert a single one. But that does not keep us from trying. Oh, I miss her so much. Have you come to protest the mission as well? The news has spread to every village. It's on every tongue. We are so close. St. Odwigs cannot resist much longer, and once it relents, all others will follow in its wake. The tome will be ours! Father Dinwell is denying that women can be ordained as members of the Order of Mitharu, despite scripture to the contrary. I know that they've got the proof in their reliquary, an ancient ordination tome, but they've never let me close enough to get a glance. All are welcome into Matharu's embrace. Ha! The hypocrites! Don't commit any crimes on my account. Of course, if Matharu compels you to see justice done, then I won't stand in your way. The Brothers of St. Odwig's perpetual mission keep the valuable tome in their reliquary, but no one outside the Order is allowed a glimpse. If such creatures were not part of the Authority's plan, then they would not exist in nature, period. Mitharu's divine order governs all, even the Fae. It is the name I chose when I baptized myself in the clear waters of Mitharu. I have undergone the ordination rites, and am as legitimate as any monk. He would be a good man if he could see past the rigidity of his faith. Mitharu embraces all not simply those that the church deems worthy. You don't know. It is less a mission than a fortress of deception, a citadel of lies. It throws its menacing shadow over all of Gorhart. Father Dinwell will try to defend his cause, but he is simply a soldier, marching to the orders passed down to him. None of them have minds of their own. Everyone in Gorhart is talking about the attacks. They say that the Red Legion is receding back into the shadows from whence they came. It is all thanks to you. You found the formula and destroyed it. 
Now, you may think you understand the impact of this act, but you truly do not. You are a friend to this village and to me, Nanny Hanry. Take this. It is not much, but it gives you an idea of my gratitude. I'm sure I have a vial somewhere in this cottage, but I do not have the time to search for it. I'm sorry. Do you really think I'm able to part with anything, much less one of my finest mixtures? This is a place of research. There is no charity. Farewell. Welcome to Gorehart. Hello, my friend. Welcome to Gorehart. <laughs> what is it? You made it. Just in time, too. Give me the potion. It will help, but it's not enough. Someone must go to the Fey and explain what happened here. One small misunderstanding and we'll no longer just be strangers to the Fey. We'll be enemies. You're turning out to be very helpful, my friend. You have my gratitude. I'll see to it that you're honored. Rumor says that the House of Ballads has its headquarters not far from here, in Glendara to the northeast. Try to gain entrance if you can. It's east of here, in the meadows of Yolvin. The Feylands are a wicked place, crawling with creatures so strange you'll assume you're dreaming. Farewell. <laughs> 